On October 23, 1992, the 290 is ready to depart for a run down the Norfolk Southern Main Line through central Georgia. After passing through Macon, the train will head down 105 miles of the old Georgia Southern and Florida line to the town of Tifton. On Saturday, the train will run three excursions out of Tifton for local patrons and return to Atlanta on Sunday. We'll follow the train all the way down to Tifton and include one of the excursions in our coverage of this trip. The reflector headlight has been replaced with a dual sealed beam light for this trip. With shorter days now, this light gives the crew better nighttime vision. Using diesel power to get the train rolling out of the station, the trip gets underway on schedule. The gold dome of the Georgia Capitol building gleams in the morning sun. It's hard to imagine that the train and the Capitol have the same state agency as their caretakers. The train backs up past zero mile post and follows the same procedure as on the prior trip. Heading out of town now, the train departs on the Norfolk Southern Main Line to Macon. The tower once controlled the busy throat to Atlanta's terminal station. At McDonough, the 290 sweeps around a curve as she sprints down the line. The train is pulling into the town of Locust Grove, where it will stop for water. As the engine slows down, crew members climb out of the cab in anticipation of the water stop. A chase vehicle has already arrived, and they are running a water hose from a nearby hydrant.
The 290 takes on only water at this stop, but will take on a load of coal later today at Warner Robins. Watering complete, the train is underway and slowly eases ahead. Running at track speed of 40 miles per hour, the train highballs through Jackson. At Macon, the train will take the diverging route to the left, the old Georgia Southern and Florida line to Jacksonville. Slowing to a stop, several passengers will board the train here for the ride to Tifton.
As the last cars pass by, Macon's terminal station comes into view. The building is now the offices of the local power company. Atlanta Braves baseball fans salute us with their famous tomahawk chop. Nearing Warner Robins, the train blasts up a hill and past the Air Force Base. The train will be stopping just ahead to take on both water and coal. The new Georgia coal truck is an innovative way to handle the problem of coaling a steam engine in this modern era. The self-contained clamshell unloader swings into action lifting scoop after scoop up into the tender. The experienced operator makes it look easy as he skillfully handles the controls. The former Southern Railway FP7 looks great in the new Georgia paint scheme. It's based on the similar Central of Georgia colors that adorned their early cab units.